Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you uh, for all today coming to this celebration. And it is not an easy evening to be here tonight because of the presidential debate now <laughs> ongoing. But <laughs> thank you for skipping that and joining us in this momentous celebration. We appreciate it. So we have here uh, honorable uh, consuls general and honorary consuls from many different countries uh, of the world. Um, I, I am grateful for, uh, for them being here with us celebrating our 25th anniversary of independence. But also we have uh, some uh, honorable guests, um, Dr. Uh, Arya Warshell, who is the Nobel Prize winner in chemistry. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Warshell and, uh, and his wife for being here. And also we have uh, Dr. Jana Scott, uh, uh, who was appointed in 2009 by President Obama uh, to the position of Deputy Director of White House Center for uh, Neighborhood Faith-Based Neighborhood Partnerships. Jana Scott, <laughs> thanks for being here. And many different friends from uh, various institutions and organizations communities here in Los Angeles and beyond. We have people coming all the way from San Diego and Monterey and all the uh, long distances. Thanks for being here to tonight with us. Um, uh, we also have uh, valuable members of our Azerbaijani community here. Sağ olun, çok sağ olun geldiniz. Bizimle bir yerde oldunuz. Çok sağ olun. Teşekkür ederim. Today is an important day uh, for uh, Azerbaijani people for Azerbaijani statehood. Namely, um, 25 years ago, the Republic of Azerbaijan uh, regained its independence, achieved indep its independence for the second time in the 20th century. So our first independence is, was in 1918, um, and, but unfortunately that was taken away two years later in 1920. So we were incorporated forcefully into the Soviet Union for the following 71 years. But in 1991, Azerbaijani people restored its independence. That's why we always say restored its independence and freedom. <laughs> and believe me, the, this independence and freedom was not brought to the people of Azerbaijan on a plate and just gifted to us. We fought hard to achieve that freedom and independence. That's why it's so precious and valuable to us. The, Beginning years were, of course, extremely difficult. Azerbaijan was uh, facing huge economic problems, but also uh, foreign aggression targeting Azerbaijan and invading huge part of Azerbaijan's land by neighboring country. A very difficult geopolitical situation for the country, and domestic chaos and stability. So the Azerbaijan Republic was actually on the brink of collapse and fragmentation. But in 1993, uh, President uh, Heydar Aliyev was elected uh, to his position, our national leader, and thanks to his efforts, Azerbaijan stability was restored, important economic reforms were launched, uh, oil contracts were signed, which today uh, uh, have started bringing huge revenues and helped us modernize our country uh, for the last, uh, since the time the, the, uh, these important contracts were signed. So, um, What's today Azerbaijan? Since after 25 years, what we have achieved? Today, Azerbaijan is the largest economy in our region, uh, building uh, relationships, strong relationships with the countries in the region, but also beyond. Um, and under the astute leadership of President Ilham Aliyev, Azerbaijan has actually become an island of stability in an otherwise uh, very unstable region. And when you just look at the geography we are located in, you may understand the challenges we are facing. But despite those challenges, today Azerbaijan is a modern country, secular country, staunchly secular country, uh, and also tolerant. Uh, multiculturalism and the multi-faith harmony and tolerance are the governing principles of my country. That's why today Azerbaijan is setting an example uh, for many others uh, in the region and beyond uh, in, in being a, a shining example of tolerance and in religious freedom and harmony. Um, just recently we uh, hosted in Baku uh, the Pope Francis, being the second Pope visiting Azerbaijan. 
after Pope Se John Paul II was there in 2002. Uh, so it was an important visit. And in, during his speech, he said, Azerbaijan actually represents a, a, a bridge between religions, civilizations, and cultures. And he appreciated the religious diversity that we have enjoy in the country. So we have been able to create, based on our long-standing tradition, an environment where Muslims, Christians, and Jews peacefully coexist and not only tolerate each other, actually go beyond tolerance. They respect each other, accept each other as they are. That, I think, in these troubled times, how it should be everywhere on our planet. So that's why our president also declared uh, the year of 2016 a year of multiculturalism in Azerbaijan. And within that framework, many different events were arranged and organized in Baku and other parts of Azerbaijan, bringing together cultures, religions, uh, from people of different parts of the world, from different walks of life, so that they can experience what we have been able to establish in terms of interreligious harmony. Friends, thank you for your friendship, for your uh, constant support to our work here. Um, we cover a large territory in the western region of the United States, and with a short staff, it wouldn't have been possible to do the things that we are doing. So without your support, and we, we, we would not be able to, um, uh, to be successful. So thank you for your friendship, for your constant support. We appreciate it. And this year, uh, the governor of the state of Montana has issued a, a proclamation proclaiming October 18th to be the uh, Azerbaijan Independence Day in the state of Montana, which we appreciate and thank the governor, Steve Bullock, of uh, the state of Montana. And also some cities in um, California have done the same, proclaiming uh, Azerbaijan Independence Day. Uh, what, uh, San Diego City, San Diego County, uh, West Hollywood, um, uh, Torrance are among those cities, and we've received uh, letters of congratulations from different governors as well. So we appreciate that. So at the end, uh, let me say, wrapping up, that Azerbaijan has accomplished its 25 years despite those challenges we have faced, I think, successfully. And we are now on a strong foothold, and we're looking forward to many more 25 years of coming uh, for Azerbaijan, and the most precious thing of Azerbaijan, maintaining and preserving our freedom and independence and being an example uh, for many others to follow. Thanks again for joining us.